This week, I had to call home office because the stories that I was hearing were getting really, really scary. Honestly, I was seeing very scary stuff on TikTok, on some WhatsApp platforms that I joined. But the one that shook me most was a story a friend told me. Okay, so my friend, she works in this private hospital in England. Okay, she's from Ghana and she works with other overseas nurses. Okay, one of her colleagues, who's also an overseas nurse that came to the UK in 2017, she was due to apply for her ILR. She applied and she was denied. Why was she denied? Home office is saying that she breached that 20 hours restriction, blah, blah, blah. And according to this person, the only time she did extra was during the COVID. So it's like, how? Because um, if I if I if I can remember, I, I during the COVID I did more than 20 hours too. Like so th this was really scary, honestly. So I told her, I asked her that, no, your friend has to explain because this is not clear. Can she come on my channel so that I can interview her and then she'll give, you know, better explanation. Apparently she's not comfortable, you know, coming on the channel to share this, you know. So I decided to phone home office, okay. The other stories that I heard on TikTok and, you know, on other platforms were students. I heard a story of this Nigerian student that came to the UK and was applying for the graduate visa. That's the one that you can apply for if you're a student after school that allows you to stay in the UK for like two years. This guy was applying for it and then he was denied but for him he was denied because of public funds and there was another student another tier 4 student who was denied also because he worked more than 20 hours in the week you know for students you are here to school and you are not supposed to do more than 20 hours work in any week you understand so this was getting scary especially because during the covid we all knew that that 20 hours restriction was waived you understand so i'm like oh god what's gonna happen now so i had to phone home office okay <laughs> so this video is proudly sponsored by TransferGo. So TransferGo is an international money transfer app that allows you to send money from the UK and other EU countries to Ghana. Okay, when you send the money in at most 30 minutes, the person is going to get the money. There are no hidden charges, so the person gets the exact amount that you're sending. TransferGo is rated the best financial app on Trustpilot and there are currently over 4 million people using TransferGo. They are so convenient, they are very, very reliable and their customer support, guys. If you have any queries and you contact their customer support, like they have one of the best customer support team, okay? And the person can receive the money in US dollar or in Ghana CD. Okay, I'll leave a link in the description whether I use an Android, whether I use an iOS, you can always use a link to download TransferGo and make your first transfer. Now, trust me, you, will, you love them. You love them, trust me. Okay, so thank you so much TransferGo for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get to the main reason why you clicked on today's video. So for those who are probably wondering what I'm talking about, see, if you come to the UK on a tier four visa, that's a student visa, you are here to school, right? But the government allows you to do some part-time job, but you're not supposed to do more than 20 hours a week of that job, okay? And they have a way of finding out, okay? They do have a way of finding out. And if you are grabbed, your future visa applications might be denied because you breached this, okay? But for tier two or skilled workers, those that are here to work as senior carers, nurses, doctors, uh, biomedical, whatever, you can work for your employer, right? But if you are choosing to work for a second employer, that's like do a second job, this job should be in the same occupation code. It should be like the same job that you came here to do. So if you're a nurse, the second job should be a nursing job. If you are a care assistant, the second job should be a care assistant job okay you cannot choose to go and work in tesco because you think they are paying more if your your main job is a care assistant job you cannot choose to go and be a cashier or whatever so the second job should be on the same occupation code and then the second job as well you should not work more than 20 hours a week for this second employer if you go against these things your future visa applications can be denied and as you know for those of us on tier 2 visas as well we know that after five years of being on a tier 2 visa if you continuously stay in the uk for five years you can apply for permanent residency in the uk you can apply for indefinite leave to remain in the uk and also if you breach any of these rules your indefinite leave to remain application can be denied okay if you assess public funds if you had um we're not paying your taxes if if you know all these things if you work more than 20 hours for a second employer in a week your visa application can be denied so that's what happened to this lady okay and we all know that during the covid like there were a shortage of healthcare professionals all over so they waved this off okay but when check on the gov.chk website they said that at the moment there was no restriction for nhs doctors comma nurses and paramedics okay nurses took advantage of that and did so much extra work like so many people made themselves rich but people were saying that this thing has been scraped off this thing has been scraped off but when you contact some agencies they said no it's only that for the student that's been scraped off and the confusing part was that 
when you go on the gov.gk website this statement was still there they had not taken it off so it looked like it was still active right so why then did they deny this lady ILR? it just did not make sense i decided to phone home office okay so i'll leave the home office number on the screen let's say you, want, you also have an issue or you want to seek clarification you can call them um however when you call them they will give a disclaimer. They will tell you that one, whatever they are going to tell you is already on the Gov. GK website. They do not give case specific information. They will talk, talk, talk. If you want visa and nationality, press one. If you want, if you're a landlord and employer, press two. Blah 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 blah. If you want to go straight to visas and nationality issues, use this number, okay? Because after I called and they referred me to press one, press this, they finally gave me a specific number for visas and nationality. I'll leave that number on the screen as well so that you can call. For the first lady I spoke to, she told me that hmm, this is really confusing. She told me that if it's still on the gov.gk website, that means it's still active, that means it's still in place, and that means we can still do more than 20 hours a week. So I'm like, are you sure? So why is that people are saying that they've been denied because they work more than 20 hours and she said well she's going to hand me over to the employer section or those that deal with employers or employing people i'm like yes do that so when she was connecting me to the employer section or department or whatever the line cut so i phoned her again and glory be to god thank god i was not convinced and i phoned again when i phoned again this time around i spoke to another gentleman and he told me that oh yes this thing is no more in place since 4th of october he calls it the coronavirus concession so there were a lot of things that were made flexible during the covid period okay so many visa stuff and they relaxed so many of their rules so many of their rules for students for skilled workers for so many things right they call that thing the coronavirus concession and they said all those things like they ended 4th of october now it's a bit weird so i'm thinking that this nurse was denied ilr and um, she probably worked you know she's been here since 2017 so i'm thinking that she probably did some overtime maybe sometime back that she might not even remember okay maybe it was not during the COVID period because her ilr was denied before this 4th october so i'm thinking that she probably may have done this overtime years back that she doesn't even remember but for all those who worked there to an extra 20 hours for a second employer during the COVID period you are safe but if you took any extra shifts after the 4th of october start some fasting and prayers okay so i'll leave this link in the description this guy gave me where to go on the gov.gk website to find this information so i asked him that if this is no more the case why is it still on the gov.gk website why do you still have it there that we can work more than 20 hours and he could not explain so let me read it when you tap on the link scroll to the very bottom and then they said if you did any different or extra work due to coronavirus up to 4th october 2022 you could carry out supplementary work in any role at any skill level during the coronavirus outbreak there was no restriction on the number of hours you could work from 5th october 2022 any supplementary work you do must follow the normal rules on taking additional work okay then they said changes to the restrictions on the number of hours you could work or volunteer they said up to 4th october 2022 up to 4th October, there was no limit on the number of hours you can work or volunteer each week if you were a uh, one a student, including tier four students working for the NHS in a list profession. Two, if you were a worker with a skilled work, whether health and care work visa, global business mobility, senior or specialist worker, intra company transfer or tier two worker visa, and your NHS job is a second job. Three, visiting academic researcher. Four, holder of a short term visa and are permitted to volunteer. So that is it from 5th october the normal rules still follow so please if you've paid any extra shit please be careful okay everybody wants that time where they can apply for their ilr and get permanent residency and enjoy all the benefits that comes with being the permanent resident in the uk i pray that we don't let the love of money make us miss this opportunity okay another question that i asked this guy on the phone from home office was that during the covid time they were saying that that's 20 hours restriction that was waived only applied to nurses in the nhs and that we that were working in care homes we were not part he tried to find it and he could not find it he tried to find it on his system and he could not find it so he said he doesn't have answers to it as she speaks on immigration advisor that's what he told me so we don't know hmm. we don't know but I'm sure we'll be fine. I honestly believe it's for everybody because if they wage this for students who are not even nurses, I don't think they'll be that harsh on nurses that are working in the care home. You understand what I'm saying? This 20 hours was even waged for students who are not even healthcare professionals. So I'm very sure that it's applied to um, private healthcare workers as well. Okay, so if you're a care home nurse and you're you being, you being told that it's only applied to NHS workers, so you probably breach it. I don't think it's true, personally.
Okay. For your main employer, you can pick as many shifts as you want. Like for me that I'm working with my care home, back in the days before I had a baby, I could do five shifts or even six shifts sometimes when they are very short. But if I was choosing to work for a second employer, a different company where I was going to get a different pay slip, that I could not do more than 20 hours a week for that second employer. So that means one long day and one half day. Because if you do two long days in a week, that means, you no, know, we do like 12 hour shifts. That means you've breached because you've done like 24 hours. Okay. So that's a scary part. And for those that work in NHS, I know that if you are doing like bank, it's considered like a second employer because it's like a different pay slip altogether. Yes, guys, please comment below if you understand what I'm saying. And if you have better way to explain this in the comments, please do comment below and, you know, for people to understand this. So those that work for NHS and they do bank, I think the bank is considered a second job. But if you're in a care home and there are more shifts, you can pick as many as you want for the same employer. Even if it's extra shifts, it's considered the same employer. So that's the benefits of being in the private sector. You understand? Because our extra shifts comes with your pay slip. It's not considered like a second job. You understand? So guys, please, this is it. Um, so the good thing is this nurse that I'm talking about, who's ILR was denied. The good thing is that she's still in the UK. Okay, so it's not like they sacked her from the UK or they removed her from the UK. No, they didn't do that. They just did not give her the indefinitely to remain. She had to get certificate of sponsorship again to apply for like a health and care worker visa again to be in the UK. Okay, so she's still on sponsorship. So it's not like she was removed. She was still allowed to stay. So she's still working in the UK and she's still practicing. However, she's not enjoying the benefits okay i'm going to do a research on what happens when your ilr is denied okay i'm going to phone the home office again and speak to a couple of immigration advisors and then see what happens okay so that if you've breached this already you know your options i don't know this lady now that she's been denied and she's still on sponsorship visa i don't know when again she can apply for ilr i don't know when again she can do that and it's not clear on the gov chk website so i promise to come back to you and give you like vital information as to if your ilr is denied your options and what you can do okay so please if you want to watch that video please like this video first of all subscribe to my channel and click the notification so when i upload that video you see okay yes i'll upload that video soon okay soon okay yeah that's it so the 20 hours restriction is back for students and healthcare workers and everybody else that had the restriction it's back okay thank you so much for watching hit the notifications when i upload that video on what happens after your ilr is denied you'll be able to watch it thank you so much for watching bye